Hello, this is an application I made for my AP Computer Science Principles class, and it's called Micromanager. This is what I'm submitting for my final. It opens up, that's my name right there, and here are some statistics about how you've played the game. This is saved permanently to your, to your device until you erase this app from your device. So if this is the first time you're ever playing, it should say all zeros here. But just play this play button and you're gonna play the real game. Over here, level one means you're gonna be up against one orange triangle. So let's press this button so we can look around. So we see them right here and we can drag along the screen to move around and we can use our fingers to zoom in or zoom out depending on what we want. And this little triangle is on a 17 by 17 grid with the outer dots marked green. We cannot let him escape this field. And the only way we can do that is by either crushing him or crushing him. So let's shake the phone, we go back. So let's move to him. I move, he moves. Remember, it's a turn-based game. So when you move once, he will also be granted one move. Two thirds of the time, he's going to make the mathematically fastest route to that border. And one third of the time, he's going to play an absolutely random move to either give you an advantage or make the game harder for you. So let's move again here. And he smashes right into us. So we won that round. We eliminated all orange triangles and we get to move on. Level two, we get two of these guys now. Let's do it again. We see here, and there's one and there's two nice now we obviously know it's going to be a miracle if we can catch up to them so how about we get some range we press this button and then we can drag around the screen as the view does but this time let's say this one is four units away and this one is three units away this guy's closer so let's get him tap on him bam our character flies across the screen to get him but look what happened to the other character. Remember how I said he was four? Yeah, he moved up. He's a lot closer now. This is because this ranged attack costs you two entire turns. So let's go back out and let's get this guy before he escapes. But then that brings up the amount of turns. This is not sustainable if there's too many enemies. So how about we use place barrier? This little action you can take will drop a very dangerous barrier in front of the enemy. So let's say we wanna drop it smack in front of this guy who will probably run upwards. I'm gonna drop it here and he stepped to the side, okay. Let's keep on trying. Let's zoom in, let's move up. Let's place another barrier right here. And he crashes into it, nice. So we stopped one. That means there's two left somewhere here. And we go around, there's one there, and there's one there. Let's go back, let's use the ranged attack. This guy's more of a priority, and we got him. And then let's do this. Now, the game will get harder and harder, with each level bringing another enemy into the game. So I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen if you start making mistakes and you start playing not to the perfect. So you will slowly, for example, if you do not let this be your concern and you are distracted, then a character will easily move to there and they will, my app will show you who escaped and then they will send you back to the screen. And my statistics got updated and now you can try again. Thank you.